Hello, today we will be looking into how to interact with our chatbot from the website and how to send data from the website to the chatbot. So in here we have a simple chatbot. So there, there is still no functionality that allows us to interact with the from the website with a chatbot, but we'll add it later. And here we have a fairly simple website. Basically, it has a form where a customer can enter his data and book a call. And it also has a chatbot. Now, let's look at the code of this website. So this will be the first thing that we need to set up. So as I mentioned, we have a very simple website. So a form, a form has a two input fields, name, email, and has a button basically to book a call. Uh, we include uh, WordPress provided scripts, and we also have our custom script that also initializes WordPress web chat. So that's that's that and then then the magic happens which allows us to send the data which a customer inputs here by clicking a button to send directly to the chatbot and a chatbot will be able to give us a response based on that inputted data which we sent so let's look at what we need to do on the websites part. So as I mentioned, we initialize the chatbot. So the next thing we need to start listening to certain uh, WordPress events. And to do that, we use the WordPress web chat on events. We have a listener, um, we'll look into it a bit later. And we also say, well, we also list the events which you want to subscribe to. So this is the full event. We will be listening to only these three for this example. And what the listener actually does, well, it logs for the debugging and testing purposes, but we'll not need this. But basically it waits until the lifecycle loaded event is received and then it sends a hide event basically what this hide event does it triggers botpress to hide the, the chatbot and the reason why i'm doing this is because when a chatbot is just loaded you will not be able to send any data to it because it's not ready to receive messages so one of the tricks i figured out you can just like send the hide event it will fully initialize the bot and it will be ready to receive your custom data so that's that's the reason why uh, this is needed uh, there are many other ways how you can approach it how you can initialize the bot before sending your initial message to it but for this example we'll just initialize it uh, well basically at the time when it's like loaded and yeah and also we are listening for the message uh, received event so when our chatbot receives any message we want to open it so in case like display so assuming that we just received new messages from the chatbot uh, that code will basically just open this window and we will be able to see it so that's one part and the other part is capturing the button click event. So when a customer 
uh, clicks this book a call button uh, we want to capture this click and on that click sends all the input data to the chatbot itself so in here we just basically listen for the website of fully loads and we add a listener to the book a call button so this button has book a call id and we basically listen to the click for this button and once it's clicked we do this handle button click part so basically we prevent any default functionality that should happen for example uh, submitting a form like we stop it from happening uh, then we just get the form and the the whole magical thing of sending data to the botpress is this botpress function send payload uh, it should be of a type trigger and you need to add a payload object and in here you can just add anything so in this case um, i'm adding a type so in case in the future i decide that my bot accepts multiple types of data from the web so in this case we will say that it's a lead information and it will provide name and email but in the future we can say add something more and we want to be able to differentiate um, different data being sent to the chatbot uh, on the chatbot side so this is quite simple setup that you need to have on your website from the code perspective uh, to be able to send name email to the chatbot on the button click now let's let's go and build a uh, chatbot's part and then test how everything works so for the chatbot we will need to add a custom trigger so custom trigger will be receiving the trigger triggered messages payloads from the web so once this is triggered we will want to use this information so let's say leads data So first thing is we want to extract uh, the name and an email and before even doing that let's add a new variable let's call it lead name it should be a string and let's call new one lead email also a string so we have two new variables now let's go to the code execution and say extract the information so I already have some code for my testing so would look like this uh, the payload data which you are sending in here like this payload object uh, you will be able to access it uh, for the event payload payload and we also as I mentioned check that this is a type of a lead information because we want to execute this code only when it is this kind of type and if it is then we expect that it will have email and the name and we will assign those to the workforce lead email and lead name now once that is done uh, we are able to use this these variables in our chatbot 
So let's add uh, one more card, a greeting card, and let's write this kind of message. Hi, Morfo Elaine, our team will send you additional details to email. And once that is done, we want to basically end the conversation because already collected hidden information, there's nothing else to do. Or you could like proceed with it however you want. So once that's done, uh, let's publish our chatbot and we shall we will be able to test how it works okay so it's published let's refresh the page um, and what we want to do let's say let's book a call so is anything is happening okay so yeah so this is one of the things i noticed it's kind of annoying if a conversation has already started and it has not ended it becomes a bit messy so so let's end the conversation nothing for now uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Okay, so a conversation has ended. Now, let's send the lead information. And if you can see, like, hi, John, our team will send you additional details. If you have questions, feel free to ask. So it works. We were able to pass data from the website to our chatbot the trigger and we were we were able to extract the past data and using our chatbot flow now regarding this annoying part like how can i help you like if if it's already if the chatbot is already listening for a raw input uh, there are couple of ways you could approach it um, so one of the ways would be to start a totally new conversation there there is a wordpress event that allows you to start new conversation um, so you could use that one and solve that issue as for passing the data from the website the chatbot that's it you were able to do it click the button and passes the data that's it for this time see you next time